Oh, hello. Uh, just a quick one. I'm in the Jeep doing some electrical work, which uh, should not be filmed. Um, but I do get it uh, double checked and um, uh, confirmed by a, uh, an electrician I know. Um, so there we go. Anyway, um, do you ever, ever have one of those days where you just feel flat? And uh, never something, you know, you, you forget something or, or um, nothing ever goes right? I'm having one of those days. Um, not, not a depressing kind of day, just like uh, you try to do something and um, it doesn't go to plan. Or you forget to do something prior to doing that work you need to do in the first place. Hence it sets you back. It's, it's lack of forethought, I guess. Always rushing. I've got to calm my rushing down. So, um, so today I'm just fitting some uh, uh, trendy spotlights in the um, in the top of the G, and um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll show you um, when I'm done. See, it's not a good day. Everything I touch turns to poo poo at the moment. Um, these lights. I'll put these in today. A bit of a pain in the backside, actually. They look all right, but they're a pain in the backside. And set there. You see? Go to turn them on. They don't work. They do. So now I'm going to take these apart and find out where the fault is. Which, to put them up there, was a pain in the backside in the first place. Anyway, the trial of patience goes on. Update later. See you later. I didn't realise I'd started the camera then. Anyway, um, as you can see, that light's working there, and that pair over there are working there. What a pain in the backside. All it was, was that the neutral had slipped out. And um, so I didn't, didn't hear the click. Uh, my fault, really. Should pay more attention. Anyway. That's, uh, what time is it now? It's uh, 17.33 and it's time to tidy up and get rid of my junk. And then prep for uh, a bit of paint down here tomorrow. It's all looking good, isn't it? Not. Wish me luck. Catch you later. Right. I've got one more light switch to do, and that's me done for the end of the day. So, I've checked that the uh, master is off with the light switches. So, with these old things, you just pull one. Give a little check with your screwdriver. Nothing. Another check with that. Nothing, nothing anywhere, but well, I know it's off anyway, so just safety and then just undo these. You might not be able to see, there might not be enough light. There you go, that's undone. I can barely see.
and then just that's it just pull it out and before you do anything with that check with your pen nothing no power see no, nothing nothing so all you have to do with this now is you see where the arrows are here just push them down and they should come out there's one and there's two simple take the debris out because you're not going to need that and here's your new switch dead simple he says <laughs> Did I make a note of which was what? Oh, it'd be a trial and error, won't it? I do believe it was the top two. Anyway, so da 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 Schoolboy error there. Straight in there. Straight in there. Now, before you put it, put it back in, you've got to take this cover off, obviously. It just unclips. Uh-uh. So that's your fascia. Go down stairs at the board. Put your lights back on. Go upstairs. Flick switch. There you go. Lights on! Lights off. Now go back downstairs. Isolate again. And screw into place. Get you a couple of screws. These are dead easy anyway, he says. Line that up there, straight into there. A little bit in the top there, straight into there. Fascia plate covers that. I just want to see if it does cover it. Yeah, it does. So, screw the place. And then... All in. Jobs are done. Now let's just double check again. Switch everything back on. Job is a gun. One schoolboy error though. When you do take this apart, the old one, make a note on where the old connections were. 
I know for a fact that one was in there and one was in there. So I mirrored it. I know that's where I normally check, but um, so so just double check. And uh, you can't go wrong with that. But if you're safe by isolating it, then uh, you can't go wrong, really. And if in doubt, get in contact with an electrician. It's a good job I know one. So he he will sign everything off and then and check check that I've uh, connected everything as it should be. Anyway, that's it. That's me for the day. Take care, everyone, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.